Hello, sweet friends. I am back to share a new art project with you for this week. Um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy what I have in store for you. It is a little bit more challenging than what we did last week, but I have no doubt that you guys are going to be able to do this project and succeed and make it your own in so many awesome, fun ways. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the bubble prints that I shared with you last week. I got a lot of really amazing emails from parents showing me all of the really neat artwork that you created using that bubble printing technique and then some of the things that you turned those bubble prints into. I saw lots of cards, I saw shapes being cut out to create new and exciting images and then I saw you guys taking that even further doing things like color mixing with the materials and um, creating some really neat artwork just using materials in a fun and unique way. So I hope you guys continue to send me those pictures of you creating and doing such an amazing job. I just love seeing that. It makes my entire day. But before we get into the project that I'm going to share with you this week, I do have a little announcement I wanted to share with you. So I would love to be able to share this with you in person, but unfortunately I can't. So I wanted to send you a video and let you know that my family is excited to be welcoming a new baby this coming November 2020 into our family. And so we're going to become a family of four. Um, my son Brantley, who is almost two years old now, it's hard to believe, is super excited to be a big brother for the first time. Um, and we are very, very excited to um, get to love on a brand new little baby. And so I wanted to share that with you guys and let you know um, my big and exciting news. All right. So now that I've gotten my really awesome news shared with you. Let's talk about our art project for this week. So this week we are going to be creating little dinosaur puppets. So these are super cute. I've actually made a couple of them. So they're going to look a little bit like this. So if you can see, I have my little dinosaur right here inside my egg. He's able to pop up and say hi. He can close himself back down into his egg. Oh, he's stuck right here on his egg though. And so we're going to be making these little puppets. Here's another one <coughs> that I have. So you can kind of see these really cute little puppets. You can see different colors and the way that they've been made. So we're going to be making these today. So a couple materials that you are going to need. You're gonna need paper. I'm going to be using construction paper. You can use white paper if you don't have construction paper. That is perfectly okay. You'll just get to color and decorate a little bit more and that is awesome. All right, so if you would like to have the construction paper, great. If you have white paper, that will work. Um, <clears throat> anything that you have, you're going to need some crayons or markers, color pencils, just a regular pencil if you want to just create it with lots of value, but you're going to need something to color with. You're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need a little bit of glue. If you don't have liquid glue, maybe you have a glue stick. You're going to need that. Um, you could probably get away with a little bit of tape, but glue will be the best. And then you are going to need a little piece of cardboard. So <coughs> I'm gonna have to cut mine down a little bit more, but if you have a piece of cardboard, I cut my cardboard off of a diaper box that I had, just a cardboard box, a cereal box would work. If you don't have cardboard, a ruler, a pencil, um, a popsicle stick, if you happen to have a popsicle stick, any of that would work. So remember as we do these projects, if you don't have a material that I am using, it's okay. A lot of these can be substituted for something else. So think outside the box, use that creative mind of yours, ask your parents. I have a feeling that they will be able to help you figure out something to use if you don't have the materials I'm using. All right guys, so let's start and sh I'm gonna start showing you guys how to create this really cool little dinosaur puppet. 
All right, he's gonna be really cute, so let's start. All right, guys, so we're going to start by making our egg. As you can see here, I have a piece of construction paper. I'm gonna use purple. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually going to fold it in half horizontally. So I'm gonna walk the left side over to the right side. I'm gonna line those edges up nice and neat, hold it on the side, and flatten the other side out. So now I have a piece of paper that's folded in half. We're gonna keep this folded the entire time. Now, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to draw our egg. Now, an egg shape is a little bit different. It's kind of like a circle meets an oval. So you're gonna notice the base of the egg is gonna be wider than the top up here. So the best way that um, I like to make my eggs is to start at the base, and I'm just going to make it nice and large. I'm gonna draw a nice, large, curved line, like a real big smiley face. Notice I didn't quite touch the edges here. Then from there, I'm going to draw the top. Remember, the top is gonna to be a little bit smaller, not quite as wide as the base. So I'm gonna start back here where I left off, and I'm gonna bring my line, curve it up towards the top. As I get up towards the top, notice that my curve is narrowing just a little bit. Curve it over. And then I'm going to come back to meet the other side, just like that. So you can see our egg. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut this out. Make sure that you keep it folded. This is very important. You need to keep that paper folded. You're gonna cut it out while it's folded. Notice that I'm letting my hand that is not holding the scissors do the work by rotating the paper around makes it easier than trying to pivot that hand with the scissors. So, once I've cut this out, set that scrap paper aside, and now I have two identical eggs. This is important because one of these eggs is going to be the back, and the other is going to be the front that we're actually going to break open. So go ahead and set one of your eggs to the side, and at this point, I'm going to actually start to decorate. So I have some crayons, again, crayons, markers, color pencils, um, just a graphite, just a regular pencil. Um, anything will work. And you can decorate this any way that you want. No one really knows what dinosaur eggs look like. So you can choose to make this um, design on here any way that you want. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to use circles. So I'm going to take and I'm just going to draw some different circles, different sizes, scatter them around, some large, some small, maybe make some medium ones. We're going to do this until we have the design that we want. So keep decorating that egg. Notice that I'm covering the whole thing with my design instead of just drawing one tiny little thing in the center. Really balance our artwork out by allowing a variety of sizes. You could use multiple colors if you wanted. Um, Again, any way that you want your egg to work, to look. If you don't wanna do circles, try something else. This is up to you, you are the artist. All right, so I have my design. Now, I want my egg to look a little bit more three-dimensional. Right now it's very flat. So to make this look a little bit more three-dimensional, I'm going to add a little value. Remember, value is the, um, the way that a color changes from light to dark. And to, in order to make this look a little bit more rounded, like an actual egg, we would add a shadow on one side. So the light hits over here, and then we would have a shadow. So I'm going to choose a color similar to 
the color of my paper, so a purple. And I'm going to start by creating almost like a little C around the edge. So notice I didn't come all the way over. I stopped right up here at the top. And again, I'm gonna stop down here at the bottom. It's going to be darkest right here along the edge. So notice I'm going back and I'm coloring a little bit more. And then I'm gonna lift the pressure that I'm adding to my crayon a little bit. And that's going to help us make a lighter value. So notice that color gets a little lighter. The less pressure I have on that crayon, the lighter the color is, and the better my value gets. Again, notice I'm only coloring on one side. I stopped at the top and the bottom. Um, that way, I don't make it look like I'm just outlining the egg. I really want it to look like there's a shadow falling on it. Now, if you were using just a white piece of paper, this would be a great time for you to go ahead and just color, all right? So mine was already purple. I added some blue spots, and now I'm adding that purple value. If yours was white, this would be a great time to color the background, maybe color your spots, however you want to make yours look. All right, so if you look at it now, it looks a little more three-dimensional. We've added some value around the edges. We've added the, um, the details. The next thing we wanna do is crack our egg open. So to do that, we're going to come up towards the top. You can come towards the middle. I wouldn't go too low on this, middle or towards the top and we're gonna add a zigzag line. Now, we want this to look like it's naturally broken instead of just cut apart by us. So we don't want our zigzag line to be perfect. We want it to be what we call a irregular zigzag line. So some of those lines are going to be shorter, some are going to be higher. Notice that they're not stopping and starting at the exact same point. All right, so we have that zigzag line going across. Again, irregular zigzag line. This one's taller, some are lower. They come down higher, however you wanna make that zigzag line. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to cut this out. When you're cutting this out, instead of moving your scissors, pivot with this other hand. You wanna stop cutting when you get to the corner, the little point. Pivot that egg around and then cut the next line. This way you're not tearing that paper apart. Again, stop cutting every time you get to a point. Pivot. Pivot that paper around. And now we have our broken egg. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set our egg aside. So we're done with that now. And the next thing we are going to add is our dinosaur. Now I'm gonna use a piece of white paper for this. Now we don't want our dinosaur to be too large because if we make it um, really big, he's not gonna fit inside of our egg. And we wanna fit inside here so that he can move up and down. So we don't want them quite as large as the base of the egg because then he won't fit in the top. And so the best way to do this is to go ahead and fold our paper. For our egg, we folded our paper in half. So go ahead, walk that left side over to the right side, fold that paper in half. Now we could draw our dinosaur here, but he still might be too big if we were to draw him the size of that paper. So instead, I want you to fold your paper in half again. What we're doing it, what we're doing now is making four equal sections, quarters. Open that paper up. And I'm actually going to be using just one section of this paper. So if you notice, I'm just gonna use this top little corner. What um, section you use is completely up to you. I am going to slide a piece of another piece of paper under this because I am going to be drawing with a Sharpie. My suggestion to you is to draw in pencil first, but it would be very hard for you to see if I drew in pencil. So we're going to draw this little dinosaur right here. It's pretty cute. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you how to draw this. If you want to draw something else inside of your egg or a different type of dinosaur, then by all means, you are the artist, you go ahead and do that. Lots of things um, hatch out of eggs, birds, ducks, um, so many things. So I'm gonna show you how to do this dinosaur, but what you draw ultimately is completely up to you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here towards the top with a curved line. It's gonna be the line that our eyes sit on. Notice that it's not too wide. It's not touching the edges of the paper, but I have my curved line, like a little frowny face right here. And then I'm, I like to make a little dot right here in the center. We're gonna draw two curved lines, kind of like the letter M to make our eyes. I'm gonna start over here. Draw a curved line, it's gonna come right down to that little dot that I marked in the middle. <coughs> and then back to the other side. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our pupils. You can decide how you wanna make those pupils look any way that you want. I'm gonna leave some little white spots. If you wanna color the whole thing in, then by all means, color that whole section in. All right, so we have our eyes. Now we're gonna add another curve for the mouth. All right, make a little mouth. And then add two little nostrils. I'm just gonna use two small diagonal lines. You could leave the mouth like this. Kinda looks like a little frog right now. Or you can open that mouth up just a little bit. Give them a little smile. Oops, there's my dog barking at my neighbors. All right, next we're going to add our head. Now to do our head, we're just going to draw a curved line like a circle that goes around the edge of the head, but we're not going to draw or close in that circle down here at the bottom. I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna go around the head. Notice I am not going to close in that bottom. I'm leaving it open. That's where our head is. All right, next we're gonna draw a curved line. Kind of like a little rainbow. Again, notice nothing up here at the top. And then I'm gonna close in the bottom. My dinosaur is fitting within that little quarter piece of paper. All right, Titan, that's enough. Next, we're gonna add some little arms. Now, if you're working with pencil, you could go back and erase this little mark, I'm gonna draw two diagonal lines and then give some little fingers. Same thing on the other side. All right, so now we have little arms. And then last, we're gonna add our feet. So I'm gonna come down here towards the bottom and we want him to look like he's sitting. So I'm gonna draw what looks like the letter U. I'm gonna do two of those. Make it look like his feet are popping out at you. And then I'm gonna give them little toes. One, two, I'm choosing to do three toes. All right, so at this point, you've drawn your dinosaur, it's time to color. How you color your dinosaur, completely up to you yet again. I do like to um, color my dinosaur with complementary colors or a contrasting colors. We don't wanna color it the same color or as our egg, we want it to stand out. So a purple, even a blue, would not allow our dinosaur to stand out. Some of you may remember that complementary color to purple is yellow, so I'm actually going to use some yellow, some yellow green, maybe even a little bit of yellow orange in here. And choose to color your dinosaur any way you want. I'm gonna come in here. I'm actually gonna give them some spots, kind of like the outside of my egg. So get creative with this part. Allow your dinosaur to be colored. Make sure he's gonna stand out when he's coming out of that egg. We don't want him to really be hidden too much. 
come back in here. I'm going to color in the spots with a little yellow orange just so they kind of stand out a little bit. All right, once I've got my spots colored, I'm going to start to color the rest of my dinosaur. I'm again, want to not color everything the same, so I'm gonna make him have little orange feet. That way the feet don't blend in with the rest of his body. I'm gonna color his body yellow. That yellow, green, and yellow don't quite stand out too much from each other, but since I colored the inside of those spots orange, I still have plenty of little spots. All right, almost done here. Get the rest of that body colored in. Get his arms. Mine kind of is looking like a little duck now that he's yellow. And that's okay, ducks live in eggs too. They hatch from eggs and so why not have a little duck? All right, couple things left. I'm going to color the inside of that mouth. I'm just gonna color it black. Maybe you left that mouth closed. And then I want to do something just a little different. So on the top of the head, I'm not quite gonna use this an yellow. I want this to be just a little different, so I'm gonna use this peach color. Make it stand out a little bit more. All right, guys, so now our dinosaur is finished. We've colored, we've drawn them, we've colored them. Now let's cut our dinosaur out. So just like with the egg, Make sure that you're allowing this hand to do the work, not the hand holding the scissors. I like to free my dinosaur just a little bit so I don't have that whole piece of paper to work with. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to cut around all those little edges. The hands are going to be one of the most difficult parts. So again, allow your other hand to do the work. Pivot it back and forth while you cut out. Stop cutting when you get to a point. That way you're not tearing that paper. Around the head. off makes it a little easier again those hands can be the most difficult part if you did like I did and made them with little zigzags almost done get the bottom there and our dinosaur is all cut out little baby dinosaur all right, now it is time to start assembling. So I'm going to set my dinosaur aside. I'm going to bring my pieces of the egg back. And now it's time that I'm going to be using the glue. Now, it's very important that you listen to where we're going to apply the glue. So I'm going to take my egg that's broken that I decorated. I'm going to flip it over. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the glue. And I'm only going to glue on the edge. Because remember, we are going to have our puppet who's coming in and out, and we have this piece of cardboard down here. So if we glued in the center here, that little cardboard piece wouldn't be able to stick through the egg. So we only want to add glue on the edges. Remember my little saying, dot, dot, not a lot. Notice I'm using very small little dots right along the edge here. Okay, stop there, come back up here, add a few very, very tiny little dots, stop there, leave that whole center open, 
and then we're going to flip it over, match it up really nice and neatly with our egg that we did not color or decorate or cut. Massage that glue in. All right, we should have the bottom of it. Should be left open, no glue there. And then we're gonna set that aside. All right, <coughs> now is the time that you need to grab your little piece of cardboard. And we're going to glue the piece of cardboard, pencil, ruler, whatever it is that you have onto our dinosaur. So, I'm going to determine where I want that. I'm gonna put them about halfway, the cardboard about halfway up my dinosaur's back. I'm gonna come in here, again, just a little bit of glue goes a long way, dot, dot, not a lot. Put that dinosaur down, massage that glue on. Okay, that's gonna kinda of spread it out. Now our dinosaur, stuck in here. We want to glue the edge of our egg onto our dinosaur's face. We don't wanna cover <coughs> our entire dinosaur's face up. So you don't wanna put it way down here like this. You wanna kind of determine where you want that egg to sit. If I do it here, it's gonna cover some of the egg or some of the eyes, which is fine. If I come over too far like this, which would allow his eyes to see, that egg's gonna be off and it's not gonna look like he is actually hatching from the egg. So determine where you want it. I'm gonna make mine come up just a little bit so his entire head is not inside that egg, just this middle part right here. Then you're going to add the glue down where you think that cracked egg should go. A Little bit of glue goes a long way. And then again, massage that glue in. All right. Check, make sure that everything's glued in. You don't want any extra glue back there. And then we're simply going to slide that cardboard down. You might have to kind of tuck his little arms in there. All right, so if you look, our little dinosaur can be closed up. And he can kind of pop out, wiggle it. Whoops, sorry, you can't see on my video. So he can come all the way down here. My glue isn't quite dried just yet, but once the glue's dried, it makes it easier for him to come in and out. So he can close up. If you don't want him to close all the way up, you don't have to. He can pop up and we have our little dinosaur puppet. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'd love to see the pictures of your dinosaurs or whatever you choose to make, little puppets popping out of your eggs, the colors, the designs that you chose, the possibilities with this are completely endless. You could use the same technique to make things popping out of other things, whether it's an egg or something else. You could make other animals. This is simply one idea, but I would love to see what you guys come up with. All right, I'll see you next week.